hi guys welcome to my kitchen and thank you for choosing this video so today is another episode of um indigenous food we may call it that way so today we are doing viazikarai from the coast the way you can cook it when you're in nairobi or anywhere else let's get into it so first of all you peel your potatoes and cube them like so then put it in your cooking pot add some little water not so much if possible just you know like three tablespoons that's enough and then you add salt very important and then you cover and let it cook for five minutes five minutes you're done and uh, your viazi your potatoes are ready you take them out and then we go into making the paste for our uh, viazi karai so the paste you add the uh, wheat flour and then you add a paste this paste is just uh, something that i created uh, the, the video i'll share it on the uh, comments but this is like a ginger garlic paste you can add ginger garlic paste instead and then you mix and then you add cumin i i love cumin you can use whichever spice you like you can use pilau masala you can use curry powder as long as it has a specific taste you get like you can always create a taste for your meals it doesn't have to taste like whatever anyone else makes like just for you then you use um food color the egg yellow food color is the best because uh, you can't use green right <laughs> Yeah, so that's the best one for viazi karai. Then you add water. Sorry, you add dania. You mix again. Then you add water and mix until you get a consistency. Sorry, there's a missing clip there. And then onto your karai. Your karai can be this karai. Mine is old, I know. Or a sufuria, any. So you add um, cooking oil and let it heat. And then now to your paste. You add your viazi, the ones that you had boiled, and it's important that you pat with a serviette to dry them before adding them to this paste. It helps. I don't know how it helps. Yeah. So once they are fully coated, you transfer them to to the oil, which is already heated up. Please do not use plastic, like I'm doing here. Do not use plastic to transfer. So you can use anything metallic or wooden, but not just not not plastic. So once you've added the viazi inside, you use this key kijiko. I don't know what's the name of this key thing to separate them because they tend to get together. So before they cook so much, unazi separate using that kijiko. And then you should be able to tell when they are ready, honestly, because it should take around six minutes. When they are ready. They become a bit crunchy, and then even you, your eyes should be able to tell you this is meva. There's no formula for that, guys. Honestly, yo, it's good to figure out. <laughs> so yeah, once they are ready, unazitoa, and then you serve. You can serve with a cold drink. You can serve with a sauce. You can decide to use tomato sauce, ketchup, um, chili sauce, whatever you want. And um, they will be so sweet. Most people in, from the coast, they use ukwaju. I personally don't like it, uh, taking it with this. But you can choose to use whatever you want. Imagine, guys, it is that simple. And then you serve. You can serve actually with, with a hot drink. Whatever you want. Like just a beverage of your choice. So, yeah, that's it for today. Imagine that's just simple how you make the azikarai. So thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you follow us on TikTok, um, on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will appreciate. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for today. Until next time, Baraka.